Hello everyone and welcome to another brilliant attacking game uh, from the Tata Steel Chess India Rapid Tournament. You guys requested a few more games from uh, Arjun Ergaisis, so I thought this one would be fitting. Okay, his game against uh, Levon from the uh, this exact same tournament is also uh, worth showing. So if you guys would enjoy that one as well, uh, let me know. I'm definitely considering it. So let's check it out. Uh, like I said, brilliant attacking game features none other than the London system. And we know that uh, when, when you face the London system, you have nothing to worry about. Out, but uh, sometimes if you make uh, even one slight mistake you have a lot to worry about so let's see what happened here and why it can be dangerous uh, so it's a game from round six of this tournament and uh, Arjun opens with uh, pawn to d4 we have pawn to d5 knight to f3 knight to f6 uh, and of course bishop to f4 the London system is on the board uh, we have e6 e3 and bishop to d6 so this is a very standard way of uh, approaching the London uh, uh, bishop to d3 and now well you could capture on f4 and double white's uh, f pawn this isn't really anything to worry about this has been played many times and white um, really enjoys this uh, you will put a knight on e5 and you will have excellent support for this knight so instead uh, sam just castles and now knight b to d2 uh, makes sense you want to uh, play pawn to c3 to, to improve your center as you know that black will play b6 and c5 to challenge your center so here black starts with b6 uh, you could also start with c5 it's perfectly fine knight to e5 uh, and now c5 striking in the center we have c3 and we get this uh, standard position that if you ever face the london or if you play the london you will get this no doubt about it where white has this um, uh, incredibly strong knight on e5 and if you're playing with the black pieces you will hate this night with uh, you know your entire being because you will simply uh, you're just not gonna be able to handle this in any way it's never good to capture the knight and it's just so super annoying so here we have queen to c7 we put more pressure here we want to attack the knight even further hopefully capture it or make it to move but we know that that's not really happening queen to f3 uh, by arjun and now comes knight b to d7 and it makes sense uh, as we put more pressure on the knight and it seems now white really has to react to this move uh, but this isn't the precise way to uh, counter this line of the london system there is a game that was played in 2018 world rapid championship between andrew tang and magnus carlson uh, this exact same position was on the board and magnus played bishop to a6 and this move uh, pretty much uh, uh, completely uh, well removes white's attack from the table uh, because there's no way to avoid the the exchange of light square bishops uh, for example if you try something like bishop to c2 to keep um, uh, to keep your attacking chances alive then you allow this c captures on d4 and now you can't capture with the c pawn because the bishop hangs and if you play e captures on d4 now we just play knight to c6 and now we've uh, uh, we have an excellent square for our knight we're putting more pressure on the e5 knight and white just doesn't have time to organize any sort of an attack if you capture on c6 for example bishop captures on f4 you trade everything off let's say knight before attacks the bishop but now even bishop captures with check king captures and we play bishop b7 or bishop to c4 it's all perfectly fine and white's attack is over this knight is a brilliant defender there's nothing to worry about black is definitely better here so what you would have to do after this bishop to a6 is just capture it there's really nothing better like uh, it happened in the game and now just knight captures on a6 point being that now if white continues with the attack of course h4 h5 is very very scary black now has c captures on d4 and after e captures even this knight to c5 the pawn on d4 is uh, overloaded and uh, you cannot attack here and defend here at the same time so either you capture and then we pick up the knight on e5 that's uh, fine for black or if you don't this knight is coming to e4 and black solved all of his problems so bishop a6 a move to remember if you play this um, uh, against the london system but uh, shanklin played knight b to d7 and this is now a problem yes you are attacking this three times but it's very easy to counter this just queen g3 and now you are uh, adding another piece into the attack while defending this uh, e5 square and it's never good to capture here for example knight captures we're going to play d captures black loses a piece and even if you try bishop captures d captures is very annoying the knight has to move somewhere uh, it's well no square is uh, really good for example knight here queen here you can't capture the the h7 square is hanging uh, it's just a very very uh, ugly to play for black 
so instead after queen g3 we have knight to e8 now the knight is defending on g7 you can bring the other knight to f6 uh, and now comes knight d to f3 just adding another defender here and mounting the attack uh, even though okay this is a rapid game so you don't have uh, all that much time but queen to h4 was much much deadlier here uh, you just go after the h7 pawn and after uh, black's de black defends this let's say knight d to f6 now there's g4 and that's it uh, g5 is coming uh, how do you defend against g5 you're gonna kick away the defender of the h7 square you're gonna have to play g6 bishop h6 and uh, black can resign this uh, so after knight to e8 okay knight d to f3 was played it's a rapid game uh, now comes c captures on d4 c captures and now what do you play you've managed to eliminate some of the tension uh, in, in the center but it's still hard to even find the move and here you really should continue with knight d to f6 and just try to hold hold on there is no way to remove this knight from e5 and this game again will perfectly show you why so here sam tries to pick up this knight he plays bishop captures on e5 but the, i know you guys have heard of poison pawns but this is a in the london system this is a poisoned knight uh, and now comes d captures on e5 not even bishop captures or knight captures d captures on e5 and look at the position now the pawn on e5 is uh, paralyzing black's entire half of the board the knights cannot move the queen does nothing the, the rooks are unable to join the game and the bishop really doesn't have all that much to do you you can develop it here but it's not really doing all that much this is impossible bishop covers a6 so there's no good move here for black sam tried g6 but now just castles white position is so good that white doesn't even have to uh, hurry up with anything he can sa castle to safety and then maybe we're gonna start pushing our h pawn all depending on what black plays here we have knight c5 going after the bishop but this only helps white develop so arjun plays uh, rook to c1 now the knight cannot move or also we're threatening to just win the knight uh, and here a5 preventing b4 now comes queen to h4 the queen is now occupying the dark squares knight to g5 will be well very very unpleasant for black uh, and finally as the a6 square is now available to black a bishop to a6 we want to remove this defender from the d3 square uh, but now uh the, the game is just winning for white and uh, well sam uh is unable to prevent this uh, regardless of what he plays so feel free to pause the video here and try to find the idea uh behind this position while i give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting this, uh, well, unstoppable attack. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is, of course, uh, Bishop captures on a6. Uh, we have to start with this to uh, just get rid of the, the, the hanging bishop on d3. But the actual move that you guys saw is the one that follows. We have a rook captures on a6 and now, of course, g4. That's the key move. We are stopping h5. And now there is nothing... Uh, uh, uh there's nothing uh, for black to do here uh, bishop h6 right away you can block with knight to g7 so it's not as impressive but the g4 uh black is uh you know just a bereft of any counterplay and here knight to g7 was played by sam but now queen h6 and he was in this position on move uh, 19 that sam shanklin resigned the game uh, as there is nothing more to be done here so it's uh, knight g5 is coming uh, you you will not be able to defend the h7 square uh, or you will be but you you have to give up material uh, to, to try and do so you have to play knight back to e8 then after knight g5 you have to play f5 or f6 uh, so the queen defends the h7 square we're going to play e captures and f6 en passant uh opening up uh, an attack towards the black queen and once the queen moves somewhere we're going to play f7 check and that's it uh, rook will capture knight will capture and uh, black is completely busted here there's not uh, not much for black to do here uh not only that your, your position is terrible you're down uh, in material and the white has a very clear way of what he wants to do you have a rook on the f file you want to play f3 e4 you want to play h4 h5 and slowly but surely uh, black's position will just uh, you know continue to deteriorate until it crumbles so yeah, after this uh, queen to h6 move, Sam resigned, and what a spectacular victory for Arjun Ergesi uh, in round six of the Tata Steel India edition, uh, the, the the rapid one. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this, as uh, I've been receiving a lot of requests uh, for for Arjun's games, uh, as well he he's just improving so much. He's an incredible player, and I I can't uh, wait to see what he does in his next next event, uh, especially a classical one. Uh, so if you guys would uh, enjoy seeing the the game against Levon uh, from 
uh, this um, uh, tournament uh, do uh, comment on it and i will definitely consider it uh, so yeah uh, that's the game hope you guys enjoyed it and that you've learned something about how to further counter the london system if you don't like this i've also made a tutorial on how to counter the london system uh, but you guys already know that uh, so yeah uh, i would like to wish a very happy birthday to franco tonello uh, and i would like to thank me for the best chess videos andre teron uh, nagarjuna punugotti uh, and gm socks rocks for a contribution to my channel thank you a lot i really appreciate it as usual you can check two of my previous videos here thank you for watching and i will see you soon continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions such as this one uh, and whatever else happens in the chess world uh, so thank you all i will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day